Hi friends, Sarah here with The Holy Mess. Have you ever said to yourself, it's just not fair. Other people get to eat what they want. How come I can't? Or when am I just going to be like a normal eater and just be able to eat what I want when I want? Well, I have had a lot of success in my life. I've been maintaining over 100 pound weight loss for almost 20 years. And to be honest, I've really wrestled with that thought throughout my weight loss journey. And especially here recently, because I've had some digestive issues, but I found a way to really turn my thoughts around with this. God has really blessed me with this and I wanna share it with you. So if you have ever thought it's not fair that I can't eat what I want, today's video is for you. When um, when I used to think it's not fair, other people get to eat what they want and I don't, what I would tell myself is, well, Sarah, you know, life's not fair, which is true. It is true that life's not fair, but somehow that thought just didn't really serve me. It didn't help me feel any better. I still kept falling into the victim mentality, feeling sorry for myself, wanting to be able to eat whatever I wanted, whenever I wanted, and maintain my weight loss. So what I have come to here recently is that whenever I think it's not fair that other people get to eat what they want, and maybe even a little more specifically, it's not fair that other people get away with eating whatever they want, I've come to realize that's not true. They're not getting away with eating whatever they want. They're not. Listen to these statistics, and what I'm about to share is a pretty harsh reality, but um, it's the truth, and I feel like it needs to be said. People who are eating whatever they want in today's culture, in first world countries, and in the amounts that they're eating them, they're dying. They're sick. They are choosing an earlier death for the benefit of eating junk food that tastes good and eating it in unlimited quantities. And I'm not judging that because that's where I was for most of my life. I was over 250 pounds because I was eating a steady stream of junk food and fast food and takeout food. But I was also choosing to, to cut years off my life if I didn't turn that behavior around. This is from the National Health and Nutrition Examination Survey, and this was from 2018, the most recent statistics I could find. So I'm sure that the numbers are actually even higher now. Nearly one in three adults are overweight, 30%. More than two in five adults have obesity. That's 42.4%. So when you perhaps think about why can't I just be normal, you don't wanna be normal. Normal is overweight, normal is obese, normal is sick, normal is not healthy in today's culture. And about one in 11 adults, 9.2% have severe obesity almost 10%. That is a huge amount of people. Diabetes is on the rise. Heart disease is on the rise. Metabolic syndrome is on the rise. People are not healthy who are eating a steady stream of junk food and fast food and all of those foods that we look at and think, why can't I just eat that? The reality is that you can eat that, but no one can get away with eating that and be healthy. Now you might be thinking, I know some people who are at a normal weight and uh, they aren't having any consequences, but that's not true either. Just because you're at a normal weight doesn't mean that you feel good. I think that so many people in our culture don't feel good, but because they've eaten this way for so long, they don't know what feeling good really feels like anymore. They don't remember it or they haven't experienced it. I know for me, um, I still eat fast food and junk food and stuff sometimes, um, but when I do that for a couple days, I really don't feel good. And then when I get back on track, it's like, oh, this is what feeling good feels like. This is why I eat a different way. I still enjoy treats, and I think treats are a really important part of a healthy weight loss journey. I encourage people who go through my programs to eat treats on a regular basis so that you don't binge on them later, but not all the time. They are not part of my diet all the time or the majority of my diet the way that they used to be. There is no possible way I can maintain a 100 pound weight loss still eating junk food and fast food and processed food regularly. The majority of my diet is real whole healthy food and then I eat some treats sometimes. I eat vegetables every single day, almost always every single meal and they're the first thing I eat at that meal because that is what makes me feel good and be able to maintain this weight loss. 
you are choosing something different. I know that you are because you're watching this video. So would you type in the comments, I choose different. The truth is, it is hard. It is challenging. Give yourself some grace and compassion. It's tough when other people around you are eating foods that truthfully taste really good. Those foods do taste good. They're engineered to taste good. There are scientists who spend their whole entire career making sure that those foods taste good so that we will buy more of them. That's the whole point of processed food and fast food and junk food is to try to get you to eat more of it. That's the company's jobs is to sell more. So of course it tastes good. It's supposed to taste good. Plus, as human beings, we are naturally drawn to the highest calorie foods in our environment. That's just a biological reality of how God made our bodies to help us survive. It's just that in today's culture, those foods are so readily available. They're affordable. Never in history have people had access to food in the way that we do now. We are tremendously blessed. We are so privileged. But with that privilege also comes challenge and responsibility. Also, for the majority of history of the entire world, and you know, even just recently, um, people haven't been able to afford and have access to food in the way that we do now. And so we have to make a choice. We have to make a choice to step outside the box and be different, to, um, to choose a life where we will feel good, where we can honor God with the bodies that he's given us, where we, um, where we can be healthy, where we um, can say no to an early death and to heart disease and diabetes. And some of these things I understand are outside of our control, but as much as in our control, we can choose to be healthier by choosing healthier foods. And I know that it's not easy, but I also know that it's possible. And you don't even have to do it perfectly. God is so good in his graciousness. I mess up all the time still. I'm maintaining over 100 pound weight loss and I don't do it perfectly, but I do my best, even though it means going against the culture to eat in a healthier way and you can too. I get lots of emails from people who say, I'm just so overwhelmed. I feel like I failed again and again. I don't even know where to start when it comes to weight loss or eating healthier. Well, on my website, theholymass.com, I have two different three-day diets. That is where you start. There's a basic three-day diet. They're completely free. It's the meal plan, the um, shopping list. I've got everything done for you. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, two snacks. Almost everybody who does those diets says they lose weight, they feel great, um, they can't believe how much food they get to eat because they're based on the concept of calorie density. So you get lots and lots of delicious food. It's all so doable for you. There's the basic three-day diet and now there's a brand new three-day plant-based diet that was 100% plant-based. You can do them both, they're all free. Um, there's an optional upgrade of a workbook if you want it and a printable cookbook, but you don't need it to do the diet if you don't want to, but most people do because they like to be able to print it off. That's where you start. And if you've done it before, but you haven't done it for a while, go back and do it again. And then um, as we go through, I'm recording this video right before the holidays. So there's going to be a lot of people around me eating a lot of food. I am going to choose different. I choose different. And the other thing that's been so helpful for me to say to myself recently is nobody's getting away with anything. Or if you want to be a little more uh, slang about it, ain't nobody getting away with nothing. <laughs> I was an English teacher, so it's a little hard for me to type those words in the comments. But then again, saying it to myself that way makes it stick in my mind because it's not how I normally would talk. But that's the truth. Nobody's getting away with anything. Ain't nobody getting away with nothing. So the next time you're surrounded by people at a party or it's at night in front of the TV and your family's pulling out the ice cream and the chips and the buttery popcorn and all the stuff that is so tempting for you, just remind yourself, not in a judgmental way, because we all make our own choices in life and we're truly doing the best that we can in the circumstances that we have. But for myself, it helps me to remember that I don't want to choose that. I want to make the choices that I've made that feel really great for me and nobody's getting away with anything that I'm not Ain't nobody getting away with nothing that's not true for me, too. And I'm going to choose different. I'm Sarah with The Holy Mess. Thanks for watching. Love you. Bye-bye.